Okay, this next part is in response to one of the comments that I had. A gentleman wanted to learn how to do it completely, not just in pieces and parts. So we're going to do this next part of the segment where we actually see the horse getting hitched up. All right, Jeff, I guess it's back to the pen with your boy. And the horse I believe we'll be using for this demonstration is going to be Noble. And he is a beauty. Yeah, I know you wanted to do this in the barn, but why don't we do it outside attached to the barn so that the viewers can really get a good idea oh. of that hitching process and it have better light out here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, actually, there's lots, actually lots of different kind of harnesses, but type I, I use is uh, the Heyman Tugs. The Heyman Tugs? Yeah. Okay. Look at Noble. Alright, while you're getting the harness together, we're going to take uh, some shots of Noble here. Doing alright there, boy? Yeah, you're looking good. This this is the kind that have the, you know Heyman talks they have the collar. The other kind they don't they don't use the collar. You think the collars are better? More comfortable for the horse or uh, I don't know, that's a matter of opinion. I th I just like the I look think they're a little more sturdier made. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe it doesn't really matter. All right, all right for Heyman Tugs. First thing you start with the collar. Okay, we'll start with the collar first. Some people put the bridle on first. I don't because I like the horse to be able to see what I'm doing, you know. Okay. That way he won't get scared. And basically there's three main buckles that well it's four main buckles that ooh, this one here. And that just the crooper that kind of keeps everything from moving around, you know. Okay, a little for stability. Yeah, this end of the harness wise gonna keep it tight. And then you got this strap right here. This is the part of the harness that just fastens everything right here. And then, uh, oops, wrong one. This is the strap I need right here. And then, yeah, and this strap just snugs everything up. You don't want it too tight, but you, you know, you don't, you try not to get it make it so it doesn't wrinkle in here too bad. If it starts wrinkling up in here, then you know you got it too tight. Okay. You want it snug where it won't slide. Very good. Okay. And then this here, uh, especially if you have a cart, because all the weight is on the, would be all right on here. Okay. So this strap keeps the cart from, you know, going up and down. All right. The tipping up, you know, when you, so that's, this strap doesn't really have to be all that tight, really, you know, just, just enough so that if the buggy, if he stops, you know, mm -hmm. and the shafts won't go up like that. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of rough to be all that tight. Then you got this here. 
you just gotta get this one in the groove right there. So it don't so the car won't flip out. Just get this off straight lined up all the way to the groove. And then you just fasten it. A little bit more noble. Spare with us, buddy. The last part right here, the bright light is just gonna last. Cause like if they're not gonna leave right away, they'll you know mess it up. Okay. How tight do you want this to be? Well, it really depends on the horse. This horse, he's really pretty mild. He's not real rough on it, but I guess, you know, there's... Several it's schools weird. of thought, I guess? If you get your finger in there, I wouldn't say put it any looser than one finger. Okay. Because I've had them come off before, and if they come off, there's no way you can control them after, after they come off. But yeah, you just hook your line there and that actually is just kind of for show if you have to have someone hold them for you while you get off or whatever okay well can i get you to hook one up to a buggy for me yeah. all right 